Hey guys, welcome back to the Interceptor. We're here with another Alliance War video, and D69 is matched up against ST CAG. This is the second last war of last season, season 32, war number 11. So we're going to be getting into this. Um, and I didn't record the second half of my war. I don't know why. When I do war, I turn on data, reset my game, and then I fight. I put do not disturb on, and then I click recording. Um, for some reason, I just didn't do that. So I didn't turn on do not disturb while fighting war, and I also didn't, uh, didn't press record. I didn't, it didn't fail. I forgot. Which is insane, because that is... I, I think that's only happened once to me ever. So unfortunately, you guys only get to see my first two fights. My first three fights, rather. And then I have to describe my last four fights to you. Oh, and I, this is not the only time I do this. I do this again next war. Luckily for that war, it's only for one fight. But, yeah... I just didn't record. So we have the team today of Ghost Wasp and Spidey2099. And I took a Nimrod boss with Spidey2099 in this war. Um, it's a pretty straightforward fight. I'm in Path 3, Section 1, over to Path 9, Section 2. And I believe at this point I don't have Suicide Zone yet. That's correct. I do not. Here I couldn't throw my L2, so I had to wait until... I knew if he, uh, he was going on softball. So I get a shock on myself, two shocks, and I'm going to throw the L2. And there we go. No suicides needed. That fight goes down very quickly. Um, my next fight. So I saw this Juggernaut 2099, and it didn't actually specify in the placements or in the uh, instructions, the assignments, who I was supposed to use. So if I went in here with Spidey, it would be a long fight. But if I went in here with Ghost, I could probably get into my next fight as well with the same special one boost. So that's why I'm going to do this. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for L2s. And also in this fight, I made the decision that I was going to ignore the, the node with the delayed blast. I was going to intentionally eat the damage and just try to end the fight. So there we go, I lost half my health, but I knew that was gonna happen. So that fight went literally perfectly in my eyes. Um, I only have to heal up Ghost once this war, so it doesn't end up mattering. Uh, but now we are on our last fight that you guys get to see. And this is a rank four six star Doctor Doom on the power snack mini boss now in my opinion magic is a much better counter to this fight than uh, spidey but spidey can do it and i have a i don't have an anti-venom pre-fight or a synergy but i do have a mr fantastic pre-fight so the petrify is going to be pretty good as long as i keep it up um but I'm going to lose it, of course. And we're, we start off the fight just losing half our health, which is exactly how you want to start a Spidey 2099 fight. But we get our Wither up. At this point, I'm like, we're doing fine. He just needs to throw a special one, and we would be completely fine. Um, I am sort of recovering this fight, um, but I just lost my, my, uh, my Petrify right there, which means that... For the rest of the fight, he is going to be able to trigger Aura, which is super, super fun. And I'm hitting into the block to get Raptures, but I'm having a little trouble keeping my debuffs up. Uh, but it's going to work. Uh, we're keeping them up pretty well so far. Um, and then right there, I wanted to throw another L2, but unfortunately, he has Aura. So I want to bait one more L1, but I'm just going to throw another L2. And I believe I did not turn on Science Boost for this fight, although I'm not completely sure I might have. Um, and right here, we're about to cross the 50% mark in this fight, and he he would have uh, gained power, but because I have the two debuffs on him, the backup recovery is actually going to drain his power. Um, so yeah, I wanted Dex right there before I threw the L2, just so that my Wither 
uh, my wither stopped expiring. But this fight just became extremely awkward after I lost my Petrify. I had no way to stop his aura, and it was basically just baiting L1s, throwing L2s for the remainder of the fight. Um, but, you know, as long as I don't get hit in the face again, we're not really at any risk of dying. I've lost 9% in the time that I've dealt about 70% to him. So that is at least somewhat good. Um, but I didn't do a great job of keeping up a ton of debuffs. So you're going to see really the only debuff I keep up the whole fight is the Wither, which is just healing him 200 in a second. Um, and when I get Raptures, it's even worse. <laughs> but uh, we are going to win this fight. Now, it was not a nice fight. Uh, like I said before, there are many better counters than Spidey 2099 for this Doom. Um, Magic, even though she is a 5-star, is probably better than Spidey 2099 for this fight. But uh, Spidey's completely fine. Uh, and not ever have to, having to worry about Power Snack is a massive upside as well. Um, so there we go, we bait another L1, and at this point Doom is dead. I believe I finish it with an L1. Yep, there we go, and it took a little under three minutes. Now, that is the end of my fights. So, I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to show you the fights that I took. So, oh. Where's my scouting? Okay, here's my scouting. Nope. There we go. Okay. So as, if you can see on Path 9, Section 2, there is Havoc, Bishop. Um, I took both of those fights with Ghost. At this point, I had full tur uh, suicides turned on because um, my Spidey 2099 fight was against the boss. So I, you obviously you want suicides for that. So you're healing the whole fight. So in Ghost versus Havoc, I I obviously went in with tech boost and special one boost. My first special two got me back to two bars. My second special two got me back to two bars, and then it was the first hit of the third special two that killed him because obviously you do less critical damage against Havoc. Um, against Bishop, my first L two killed. It was the third hit that killed, and I, I think it was like really, really close to not killing, but it just barely did. Um, I was actually assigned that mojo, but due to someone taking that, f or due to someone on path eight, I, I believe it was, who had a fight on the boss island, um, not being able to wait for me to fight, they took it with Warlock, and they said it went completely fine, although I checked their profile after, and Warlock was down to like, 10% he still won the fight um but maybe he had a warlock fight after that got him that low I actually have no clue um but yeah someone else took that fight that I was assigned uh but I actually take that fight next war so it's completely fine you'll see it next war um and then I went into the boss island am I gonna show it let me play it from here so yeah, I took both those two fights on one special one boost, and then we got to the boss island, and I had two fights on the boss island, which were the last two. Everyone cleared the entire boss island except for my two fights, so I took that Penny Parker on node 55 with Ghost. Um, I just let her hit into my face three times. I did one light attack, and then I did that till I was at special two, and at that point she didn't have any of her auto block charges yet. Um, I throw my first special two, and the, the second hit of my second special two killed her. So Penny Parker really takes a lot of damage. Um, and when the hits are unblockable, obviously she can't auto block you. So uh, that fight went down with Ghost. And then I went in against the Nimrod boss with Spidey 2099. At this point, I had not fought Nimrod. Um, I skipped him in EQ. So I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, especially the last time I fought Nimrod was in Alliance War on Path 8, Section 2, the first node. And you guys, if you want, can go back and check that video. And I got absolutely destroyed. I didn't die, but I took, like, multiple specials to the face, multiple combos to the face, and I only survived because I was using Doctor Doom. But Spidey2099 um, 
is incredible for the boss because he heals from suicides the entire fight. So uh, what I did is I went in with a special one boost and right off the start of the fight, I just went straight to a special three and I was actually able to keep up my slow debuff the entire fight. The fight took about two minutes and 35 seconds uh, with an unduped rank three with no synergy um, against an unduped Nimrod boss. So what I did is I tried to keep him to throwing special ones the entire fight and I I blocked the first hit and then I dexed the last three. I think it's what it is or maybe it's blocked the first hit, dexed the last two, I'm not sure. All I know is I blocked the first hit and dexed the rest. Um, and then for special two, I did actually fully evade it. He got to special two three times. And yeah, I just kept up my debuffs and spammed special two the entire fight and that worked completely fine. He did go unstoppable once before I reach special three, but at, after that point, obviously he can't go unstoppable anymore when I have slow debuff. So that fight went awesome, and I really, really wish that I had it. I had I was able to share the fight with you. I really, really wish I could, um, but unfortunately, I straight up forgot to record. So that's unfortunate. But that is going to be the end of this war. We did win this war um, by a pretty big number i think it was like eight or nine deaths we won by um but we didn't have the greatest war i think we had like six or seven deaths which is only okay uh we are now nine and two on the season i have one death total still that's gonna change in the last war so just wait till you see that war i i'm currently planning for it to be out the day after this one um and we are at 64 out of 65 uh fights for the psr which is really nice and our deathless streak is at 50. Actually, wait, what percentage is 64 out of 50 uh, out of 65? It's still 98%. It's just just barely under 99%. So it is 98%. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.